Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. I'd like to present to you a video which will show you 10 very, very handy tips. I won't call them tricks because they're not tricks. I use them every day in my uh, consulting business and I know that uh, if you use them you'll find that your use of Excel becomes much more efficient. So the video was run by uh, a menu system and as you click on the first word you will be taken to the particular sheet which has the uh, data that we can use in our exercise. So the first one we'll look at is using the F11 key to create a standard chart. It's very very handy and you'll see how it works. So let's go to that one. We'll select the data and we'll simply press the F11 key on the keyboard. And there I see I'm given a basic chart, uh, the default chart, which I can then use as I would normally. So it's a very quick way to achieve a uh, basic chart. The chart will also appear, as you'll see down here, uh, in the sheet area, that it has its own uh, sheet, which I'll now delete. So I'll right click and delete, confirm the deletion. Let's go back to the home page. And now control enter with formulas. So what I want to do is to add up the salaries. So I'm going to click here. Now normally if I click the auto sum button here it will suggest that they are the cells that I want to select. And if I press the enter key it adds the numbers for me but it takes me down one particular cell. Now, I don't want that because I want to stay in this cell here. And I'm going to delete that. And I'll click the Auto Sum button again. And this time I'm going to hold down the Control key while I press the Enter key. And we stay in the same cell. In other words, I saved myself a click. And they mount up over a period of time. Back to the home. The next one, the Shift a cell to select a block of data, we can do this in two ways. If I click on the first cell, hold down the shift key and click on the last cell, then I select that particular block of data. If however, when I undo that, if I have a very large group of cells, then I can use control shift and the number 8 key on the keyboard. So I'll click there in the first cell. Actually what I might do is click on that cell and then hold down Control, Shift and the 8. It's the 8 with the asterisk above. And there it does the same thing. I might add at this stage that uh, a lot of people have used in the past Control, Shift and End. But there's a little bug in Excel that forces the selection area out a long way. So uh, uh, it's just something that you need to be aware of. If you have large, uh, large blocks of data, use Control, Shift and 8 to select those large blocks. Next, Control, Shift and the down arrow to select a column. Most people will probably drag down the cells to select the data, but there's a quick and easy way by clicking on the first cell, Control Shift down arrow does the same thing. Control Shift and the right arrow also selects the data to the right. Very, very handy, particularly if you have large blocks of data in columns or rows. To select just one row, let's say uh, row 5, Control Shift and the right arrow, and they are the cells that are selected. Back to the Home tab using the filter button. Now this is an alternative to seeing the filter buttons here as opposed to creating a table. If you just want to see the filter buttons then what you need to do is go to the data tab, uh, click the filter button after we click in the uh, any, any cell in the in the data and there we see the filter buttons. So now I can use those as I normally would. We'll unselect all, 
we'll just select Mary, OK, and there I see that Mary is selected. To remove the filter, simply click on the filter button again. The next one we'll look at is using the icon command. Now this is a new feature in uh, uh, the later versions of Excel. So when I go to insert, I'll see that there is a, a button here called icons. Now you need to wait till they load the icons. Microsoft will send the icons down and there are lots of them, various categories um, that you can use. Let's choose the uh, black smiley face for example and when we click insert that will insert that icon which you can then drop around and leave it wherever you wish on the uh, on, on the um, worksheet. Let's delete that particular icon just by pressing the delete key. Back we go to the home tab using the karat key. The karat key is obtained by clicking holding down the shift key and clicking on the number 6. So let's see how it works. It raises the number that you choose to a power. So if I wanted to say equals 2 karat 4 that will raise the number 4 uh, the number 2 I'm sorry to the fourth power. So let's click enter and there is my answer 16. It can be very handy when your uh, um, kids are doing their their uh, homework etc uh, their maths on uh, Excel uh, where they might need to use pi r squared for the area of a circle that type of thing. Back to the home tab control and the semicolon for the current date. This is a, a command I use all the time because when I click in a cell and hold down control and the, press the semicolon it gives me today's date and the idea of that is that the date will change every time you start your computer where the date in the clock has changed from uh, whatever date was the last date that it saw so if I restart the computer tomorrow on the 19th of September 2018 that is the date that will show next moving cell data very very handy if I want to quickly move cell data I can select the data and then point at any border on the uh, on the data block and just drag it around and drop it wherever I wanted it's an alternative to using the uh, cut or copy command particularly the cut command and it's very easy to use we'll put things back where they were and that is one I can highly recommend okay back to the home tab using the clear commands now let's select the data again and look over here in the editing group on the home tab we will see the clear command. Clicking the clear command on its own does nothing, but it brings up a drop down menu where I can clear the formats, thus, or I can clear all. So if I select the data again, ah, I'll use Control Shift and the 8. I can clear all of the contents. By clicking clear contents so there we go there are 10 very handy tips for you to use practice and you'll find that after a while they become second nature but they will greatly improve your efficiency in terms of using the uh, commands